So we're on our way to San Jose, California, the home of NorCal CrossFit. You may have heard of them. They did real well in 2014, but this year they have a secret weapon on their team. Jason Kalipa. He's been dominating the individual competition every year that he's been in it, but now he's decided to go team. What does Kalipa's presence do to a team that was already formulated and so strong? Is their training any different? Is their performance any different? Is the mindset any different? I'm here to find out exactly what happens when someone like Jason Kalipa goes team. It's pretty early in the morning right now. We're here at the West Valley Junior College track. Chris Hinshaw, who you might know as the coach who coaches everybody, is gonna be here with the team with NorCal. There they are. I'm gonna go say hi. Hey guys. Hi, how's it going? How's it going? Lauren said that they sent something for us. They have a letter for you guys. Okay, good. This is a letter that Rasmus wrote from <laughs> Team Invictus. Oh no, he had to he had to ask he had to ask for a spell. He wants to read it. Miranda, you want to read it out loud? Go ahead, read it out loud. Hey NorCal aka loser. <laughs> Hope your training is hold on, should I read like him? Yeah. <laughs> Hope your training is going like shit. <laughs> <laughs> we look forward to seeing you at the podium right under us. Don't Whoa, forget you want us to get under you? <laughs> Don't forget that second place is really impressive and a big achievement and almost as good as first place. Sounds like Zoolander. Sincerely, <laughs> <laughs> Team Invictus. Only signed by four people though. None of the girls signed it. None of the girls signed it. The girls were like, I'm not putting my name on this. Take a picture of me and Molly holding it. You got a mean mug. I want a gold oh, star from right. you today. Hey, coach, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, but the orange shoes are gonna make me 5% faster today. Dude, so let's control yourself, because last workout you had a very difficult time. Yeah. What are you talking about? Last workout I crushed Pat Barber in the 800 meter rush. Have you ever gotten a gold star, Jay? <laughs> I got one, one. No, I think that the only person here is Miranda. What's this whole thing about gold star? Oh, just that I'm very rare to reward anybody for exceptional work. I mean, I think that part of it is, is that these guys are professionals and this is what they come out to do and so you know every now and then someone does something that surprises me i mean at 52 years old i'm rarely surprised these days and if someone does something that is exceptional and it surprises me then i'll break out a gold star <laughs> <laughs> all right on your toes you're so good she has the best legs out of anyone here there she's halfway to a gold star <laughs> hey chris tell <laughs> you how good your hair looks today Chris, where's, where's my fucking gold star? how big your dog looks today? <laughs> so far what I've learned is that Team NorCal is like a bunch of high school students talking about dogs and selfies. Three, two, one, go. This behavior is very uncommon. They're fired up inside. This is our last track workout of the year and they need to exercise a little restraint. Put what? that stuff well up inside them and then release that come next Wednesday. All right, we're gonna go three by 600 meters. Oh! <laughs> Sounds aggressive. 40 seconds of rest in between. Better than 10. Four minutes after the set. You're then gonna go 500, 400, 300. Same 40 seconds of rest in between. Same four minutes of rest, all right? Okay. All of that is going to be at the same pace. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, right. It's gonna mm. be hot. No, that's mm. not hot. It's not. It's Running without a doubt is, in my opinion, the highest value for cardiovascular adaptation. It is something that is highly controlled. So you'll see them today. I'm gonna to give them a target time for 600 meters and I'm gonna expect them to hold that 600 within one second. So a lap and a half around this track, they're gonna hit that within one second. It's an incredible level of precision that all of them have. So if I'm trying to really control a stimulus, I can do that within, you know, one heartbeat. These workouts and these last you know, 10 days are by far my favorite of the year. I love the tug of war between the brain and the body. And I love when you see them battling that. I love that part. It's not like we're struggling to achieve a target time. What we're doing is we're trying to really force our body to exercise a little restraint. They're gonna be saying, you know what, this pace is easy. This is, I got this. You know, let turn me loose, coach. I just wanna run. And we're gonna hold that back. They're so used to their brain saying, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. And now they're in that transition where the body just wants to be turned loose. And we're gonna see that battle. So we're here at NorCal CrossFit's, well, one of their many locations. It's huge, this place is awesome. 
This place is massive. There he is. It's a good thing that they're all really good at fitness because they suck at basketball. <laughs> I feel like Jason would do better if the ball weighed 25 pounds. That was one of the most impressive physical speeds I've ever seen in my entire life. Hey, workout today, we're gonna practice sync deadlifts and sync them ups on uh, rings that are side by side. Paul, so, like max three point shots in a row? Yeah, sure, sure. 365 for the dudes, 225 for the ladies. Uh, ultimately, this practice is if things break down, if Jen and Pat are off, and I'm calling no reps, that they can put the bar down and figure out what's going on, communicate under, uh, you know, films going on, there's music, we're practicing something that could be in the game, can they communicate and fix it? Because uh, last couple of years, Armin, I don't know if you know this, but I was a head judge um, out on the field for the teams. and. At that level, every single team has a bunch of you know, six fit individuals, but the teams that really separated themselves from the pack were those that, when there was an adverse moment, and there will be plenty of them for every single team, they were able to come together as a team, communicate what's going on quickly, make a decision, and fix it. So just remember today, communication and cadence, working these two movements, synced deadlifts, synced muscle-ups. Go! Speed through the middle there. Speed. There you go. Way to get over fast. No rep. Bottom. Good. Knees, Jay, at the top. Knees. There you go. Good. Yeah. Come down, come down. Yeah, here we go. Last one. Yeah. Oh. That a girl. Finish line right now. You got this. Come on. 1409. What do you guys think? How much did the deadlifts change things? Deadlift definitely played a role, for sure. I'm really happy we did that because, like, I think, like, if we had gone into it with trying to get a huge set, I think. I think seven or eight on that first set is the right number. Like if you're gonna go for one and miss it, you come down beforehand. Like that's yeah, like told, that's what we we talked so about. I, yeah, and yeah. It's just because that's just wasted energy, right. and psychologically, it's like fuck. I just missed it. And that's what I told Miranda. Miranda's like uh, two or whatever. I was like, I was like, I was like, no, I, I think one. I think one or whatever. Yeah. Because I felt on the one before I was getting a little burnt. And like, you just gotta be humble enough to be like, hey, I don't think I have to. Here's ultimately what went down. We got some good data. We got some great practice on sinking deadlifts. You guys look really good on that for these loads. Um, let's wrap it at that. We're good to go. Alex, close us out. Ready, NorCal on three. One, two, three. NorCal! Here at San Jose State University, NorCal is gonna be doing a swim workout a little bit of tune up in the water before the games start next week. I brought my towel. Maybe I'll be jumping in and doing a little bit of this event with them. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, I think. So can we just work on our tans and not do the whole swimming thing? Is that possible? They're working on their diving board skills. Are you serious? It's funny because Jen's, um, you'll see this she was a Division I full ride scholarship, like still holds records at her school as swimmer. But she's terrified of it, she hates the ocean. Really? Like she's good in the ocean, but she hates it. She's scared of jumping off the high dive. <laughs> like it's just funny. There's a beautiful can opener. Oh, a can opener, that's this. Oh, so what you did was the pencil, I guess. Yeah, self-preservation <laughs> tactics. Higher than it looks up there. We're going 15 minutes. Uh, partner workout. So long. So long. While your partner swims there and back 50 yards, you can do no more than 15 slam balls. 
the slam balls have to be started with a uh, full extension of the body, ball overhead, and you have to catch it on the bounce for it to count. At 10 minutes, Jay, you might want to hear this. At yeah. 10, 10 yeah. minutes, that limit is released. I'm going to do so uh, many slam balls. So 10! Are we the dark horses in this race right now? We're the dark horses in this race right now. As in like, we're just going to cheat, right? We're just going to like pick up a number. Yeah, at the end of the day. We did 700 slams. Wow, that's how many we did. So. They didn't count. I mean, we counted, so I know we got 3.44. So you guys won. Do my ears hurt? That was fun. Good job. Thank you very much. Yeah. Did he bring this was so much fun, by the way. That was so much fun. I never get to do cool workouts. That's awesome. I'm a little lightheaded. So it could be the hypoxia. So I'm on my way out to yet another one of Jason Kalipa's NorCal CrossFit locations, and they were working out nonstop. We're rolling onto our fifth or sixth session in two days. We're only a few days away from the game, so if this is them tapering, I would love to see what their actual training schedules look like. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this place is fucking huge. No, so pull up this, pull it up. I'm pulling as hard as I can, dude. <laughs> Don't fucking break your toe right now. <laughs> no. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Next. The team is about to get ready to do a sled push, D-ball clean, tire flip uh, workout. The tires are too light, so they are bringing in a bunch of med balls to load into the tires, and they're loading up the sleds with all of the weights, as you can tell. Go. It should hopefully be easier with us because we're going to pop it for you, I think. Yeah, because ladies don't know how to pop it. Well, you guys Jason pop it, but, Pat, it but Pat, <laughs> Pat pops it hard. I can no. pop, lock, and drop. I surely can't do that little fucking thing that you guys are doing. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Whip? Whip. Just try it. Please try it for once for me. Once we whip. I don't even know. Like so can you go like this? this thing, like. There it is. And I whip. Boom. And then once we did it. Drive like you're driving your whip, your car. Yeah. Yes. So way. that's the whip. Yeah. And then you wave to the girls, that's Nene. Oh, oh, what does Nene okay. mean? Austin, what do you think about Jason going team this year after doing so well as an individual last year? I'm a big Jason Kalipa fan, of course. I wanted him to go individual. It's like, bro, you may be, uh, you know, a 9, 10, 11 time games athlete. Just. Keep at it. You, fuck, you were on the podium last year, third place. You know, it's not over yet. But uh, he's a family man. He's a businessman, um, a family man, and a CrossFitter. And uh, CrossFitter has taken priority for so long that it, he needed a little more balance. And going team allowed him that balance. <laughs> Dude, that is, that is so good. <laughs> Overall, I'm just a more happy person. I've better balanced my life. Business has never been so successful. Family's doing great. My fitness is probably a little down, but everything else in life is up, so overall I'm on a plus. Three, two, one, go! It's a race between the girls and the guys. If I had to think of one word to describe this team, I would say extremes. Each individual is extremely fit. The gyms are extremely huge. Jason is extremely busy and extremely successful. Individually, probably one of the fittest groups of people I've ever seen in my entire life. And as a team, they work really well together. They communicate well, and they know how to deal with curveballs when Austin throws them some curveballs in training. It seems like the draw of going team has been having a good time with everybody. It's a lot looser of an atmosphere. You don't necessarily need to take it as seriously and it still leaves you a little bit of time outside of training to improve your family life, improve your business as well. It seems like these high level athletes are choosing to go team because it just fits in their lives a lot better. This trip has shown me a lot. 
But really the number one thing that I've learned is that every single one of these people are rad down to earth human beings. I had a great time traveling and meeting all of them, hanging out with them and working out. And to be honest with you, if I had a chance, I'd go team two. Thank you so much for watching Going Team, folks. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't caught up on the first two episodes with Hacks Pack and Invictus, be sure to go to flowleap.com, hit that Flow Pro tab, and sign up to catch up right now. And if you sign up, you're gonna get to watch Matt Fraser, Elizabeth Akinwali, Sam Briggs, Annie Thor's daughter, even our friend Tommy Hackenbrook hitting the Granite Games, as well as events like America's Strongest Man and the Crush Games coming up in October. Check it out, sign up, be there.